Hello and welcome my dear students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Ruchika welcoming you to today's session. As promised in the last video, today I have for grade 9 elite uh, end of term 3 math exam coverage. We are starting the series with part 1 and in today's session we are going to be covering learning objective 1. It's an important video and it is one of the most requested video on my channel which makes it a must watch video. So let's start with the first learning objective and see the first question for today. So this is the question. It is from module 7 probability for grade 9 elite. And the learning objective that we are covering in this video is define sample spaces and describe subsets of sample spaces. So we are going to cover questions 1 to 4. As you see here, there are four parts to this question. And these are taken from your math book on page 364. So the question says a die is rolled find the probability of each outcome so let's first write the sample space when a die is rolled so as you know the sample space can be written using the curly brackets and we'll write all the set of possible outcomes so the first outcome that can come on the die is one followed by two or three or four or five or six so in all we have six total number of outcomes when a die is rolled now out of these six we'll find the favorable outcomes for each and then we'll use the formula probability of happening of event E is going to be the favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So total number of outcomes, the denominator for each of the parts for this probability is going to be 6 because that is the total number of set of all possible outcomes. Let's see what is the option for probability greater than 1. Now, when it is going to be greater than 1, we can say that the favorable outcomes are going to start from 2 because greater than 1 does not include 1. So, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. All of these options are greater than 1. So, these are 5 outcomes in all. Therefore, the probability greater than 1 using the formula favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes is going to be these five outcomes divided by total outcomes. So this fraction depends, um, gives you the probability of uh, probability greater than one. So that's the answer for the first question. Now you could leave your answer in this fraction or you could go ahead and convert it into a decimal also. So it all depends what the ministry is asking you in the question it will clearly mention whether it needs the answer in a fraction or it needs a decimal in case it requires your answer in decimal you can convert this by dividing and it is going to be 0 0.8333 and so on so it's a reoccurring decimal and if you want to convert it into a percentage just multiply it with 100 and it will give you the answer in percentage as 83.33 percent so as you know there are three answers all three are correct whichever answer is being asked in your exam you have to give that one if it asks for fraction the answer is 5 by 6 if it asks for decimal it is 0 0.833 this is a reoccurring decimal so 3 gets repeated all every time or if it gets in percentage then you just multiply by 100 let's come to the next part probability of odd so for this i'm changing the color let's choose blue color for odd so odd numbers let's write the favorable outcomes so the favorable outcomes are going to be the odd number one three and five there are three odd numbers so the probability is going to be three out of six which can be written in fraction as 0 0.5 in decimal at 0 0.5 and in percentage as 50%. You just multiply it by 100, so that gives you answer in percentage. Next is less than 1. This is pretty simple. So less than 1, there is only one option, which is number 1. So this is going to be 1 over 6. Again, you can go ahead and convert it into a decimal. So you get 0 0.1666 and so on. Multiply it with 100 and convert it into a percentage, and your answer is going to be 16.66 this is again a reoccurring decimal it goes on percentage next is you have to find the probability for two numbers here it is given one or two now if you see these are mutually exclusive uh, events that is they don't depend on each other there is uh, both of them cannot happen together so if you want to find the probability of one or six we apply the addition rule 
and we can write here this is equal to probability of 1 plus probability of 6. Why apply addition rule? Because as I told you, these are mutually exclusive events which cannot happen together. So for mutually exclusive events, we apply the addition rule. Now we go ahead and solve it. So probability of getting 1 is definitely 1 option out of 6. And similarly, getting 6 is 1 out of 6. So if we add them, we get 2 out of 6 or 1 by 3. So this is the uh, fraction that you have got as your answer, which is 1 by 3. Go ahead, convert it into a decimal if um, it is asked so. So you may get again a reoccurring decimal, which is 0 0.333 and so on. Or you convert it into percentage by multiplying with 100 and your answer comes out to be 33.33, so on percent. So I've given you all the answers here and you have to give the correct answer in terms of a fraction or a decimal or a percentage depends on what is asked in the question so that completes today's video uh, which was on the first learning objective uh, learning objective one on part one of the video coming up next is part one learning objective two so stay glued to the channel for more such revision videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel until then this is mr chika signing off from today's session see you in my next video bye students